Hi, I'm Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. The effects of climate change are hitting our oceans hard, and I hope you'll watch and share this less than five minute film. Our oceans are sending us warnings, which we would be wise to heed. Our relentless release of carbon emissions by burning fossil fuels is loading up the Earth's atmosphere with CO2, which is measurably and steadily warming our planet, as shown by multiple independent lines of evidence, including NASA satellite data. Since 1955, the bulk of this warming, indeed more than 90% of the excess heat, has been absorbed by the oceans. The man-made heat absorbed in the last 20 years by our oceans is the heat equivalent of setting off nearly four Hiroshima-style nuclear bombs in the ocean every second for those 20 years. Every minute, more than 100 nuclear explosions worth. Every year, more than 120 million explosions worth. This is driving up ocean temperatures at a rate unseen in human history, affecting everything from tropical coral reefs bleaching and dying in warming tropical seas, to Rhode Island's own Narragansett Bay where nearly four degrees increase in winter water surface temperatures has helped crash our winter flounder fishery. The law of thermal expansion means seas will also rise as they warm. And here, at Naval Station Newport, the tide gauge is measuring a steady and accelerating rise in sea level, up 10 inches already since the 1930s. Sea level rise now brings storm tide flooding into our streets, even with storms that aren't direct hits. Sea level rise stacks up with astronomic king tides and wind-driven storm surge so that when we do again get direct hits, as we did in 1938 and again in 1954, the damage will be far worse. Rhode Island's Coastal Resources Management Council is predicting more than nine feet of sea level rise in this century along our shores. And the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation predicts shoreline real estate market losses greater than the real estate meltdown of the Great Recession. As the oceans are absorbing heat and rising, they're also absorbing excess CO2 from the atmosphere and changing chemically. As CO2 levels go up, ocean pH goes down, and lower pH is higher acidity. As our oceans acidify, the areas in red become places where the exposed shells of shellfish are likely to dissolve in acidified seas. The pteropod, a free-swimming snail that is a foundation species in the Pacific Ocean's food chain, is already showing severe shell damage in more than half the pteropod scientists sampled off America's northwest coast. Acidification will affect Rhode Island's cohoggers and our aquaculture industry as it worsens. And things can crash fast and hard in the oceans. We measure ocean warming with thermometers, sea level rise with yardsticks, essentially, and acidification with simple pH tests. These are warnings that deserve our attention. Thanks for listening. You can make a difference.